Thank you for watching my video. I'm Dai Takashi. I'm a Kido teacher. I have explained Kido to the whole now how to use the body, how to make a posture. Okay, today, okay, I will explain. I will explain the original way, original way, uh, how to align the shoulder better in hikiwake. Like this. And uh, please align your shoulder parallel to the ground in hikiwake. But but it's, it, it is slightly difficult to align this uh, be, uh, because of the power per, uh, the power and the pressure of the bro put into your body uh, in hikiwake. So how do you set the, how do you set your right hand and left hand and how to how do uh, how I uh, how you be conscious how are you conscious of uh, doing when you when you are lying your shoulder uh, uh, when you are your shoulder parallel. Okay, so this is original way. Uh, please remember two sentence to relaxing shoulder more. Okay, don't focus on relaxing shoulder. Don't focus on relaxing shoulder. Please relax knee. Relaxing knee muscle as very little, like this. Relaxing knee muscle as very little. Very good vessel. So let's try. So I, uh, so in fact, so I don't, uh, I don't imagine this way. So there are book to explain like this in the old Kudo book, like this. So I will explain it after. Okay. The first tip. Uh, please relax. Sorry. I demonstrate. So set a, set a height of camera okay so okay uh, sorry one more okay down and the start so normally kudo practitioner often stretch the knee maximally like this because there there is a there is a teaching uh, as a uh, there is a teaching uh, to stretch to stretch the knee uh, especially the beginner teaching for in japan but in fact the correct way is slightly stretch like this like this a little bit a little little bit like this stretch the knee Relax, slightly bend. Very good way. Very good way. Okay, let's change the let's change the common knowledge and uh, how to make a how to make a leg posture uh, in the kudo. And uh, the correct way is a slightly bend. Slightly bend. The correct way is the knee slightly bent in hikiwake. When you do that, like this, relax. As a result, your shoulder uh, almost, uh, your shoulder also relaxing and move, moved slightly downward and keep the position like this. If you stretch a knee like this, if you stretch the knee, your shoulder and the back muscle tighten, also tighten like this, please check. Check the back muscle, very hard, as a solid, as a solid. And the portable, so shoulder muscle slightly moved upward, uh, according, according to the posture, so your shoulder moves upward and like this. And when you relax, so for relaxing, to relax the shoulder, so many people think that, so many people focus on upper body only, but 
to relax the shoulder fundamentally, the important thing is focus on uh, focus on down parts, focus on uh, leg, relax the knee like this. So you add slightly little, little as a relaxing the around of the sh uh, knee bone, relaxing the knee bone like this and pull. You can you can stretch the left arm more and please remember uh please imagine please imagine the sink uh again do you know the do you know the other martial arts as the japanese uh japanese martial arts like a kendo like this like a judo and aikido uh, please imagine in the judo prayer and the kendo prayer so and did you and uh, did they did they stretch their did, did they stretch their knee in practice like this judo like this stretch the knee and kendo so when 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 swing the sword so did they stretch the knee maximally when practice no so many so all of the prayer uh, often bend the knee to stabilize the uh, pelvis position and to stab stabilize the posture uh, when you when you move your body like this and like this. So the all of the martial arts movement is similar. Uh, it's the same concept for kudo. Let's think the kudo. Why is the kudo practitioner only? Why the kudo practitioner only stretch the knee maximally in practice? It is a it is a mysterious um, it, it is a mysterious thought I think. So uh, uh, other other martial arts prayer often bend the knees a little bit to relaxing the shoulder and to relaxing the body and to make a posture and keep the position. So in the kudo, let's. Let's bend your knee uh, slightly, and I prepared I prepared the old kudo book and pre uh, in the seat like this. Check. This is Uno san. This is Uno san. This is a pioneer uh, as a kudo uh, Japan kudo association, Japan kudo association, uh, Japan kudo institution. Uh, uh, Japanese name is kudo Renmei. So. Uno-san is uh, the first leader of the Kudo Renme. Please check how to make a leg like this. One, Japanese character, uh, Ashibumi. Ashibumi. Ashi means leg. Fumi means put on the ground. Leg put on the ground. How to, how to make a leg posture? So the nisets, the nisets. The second step, uh, those three, do means core. Do means core. Zukuri means make. How to make core. And Dozukuri means how to make core. And let's check like this. Uh, okay, please read this sentence. Ryoashi no ante. Ryoashi no ante. How to stabilize the ante means stabilize. Ryoashi means both your ah. Uh, both your legs. How to stabilize a leg? Uh, please check. Uh, do uh, do uh, ah, yeah, 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 yes. Do his ano cansets ga hecomu curaini uragawa har. Do his ano cansets ga hecomu curaini uragawa har. Do his ano cansets ga hecomu curaini har. How do you translate? Do his ano cansets? Do his ano cansets? Means. A knee joint, both your knee joint ga hekomu kurai ni. Hekomu means bend. Hekomu means indent. So your shoulder indent be, uh, become indent. Hekomu kurai ni uragawa wo haru. Uragawa means the back of the leg, back of the leg o haru. Haru means stretch. Let's. Uh, please, please think again. 
how do you stretch your leg muscle? How do you how do you relax? Uh, how do you stretch your leg muscle in standing standing situation? When you stretch your leg muscle, when you when you stretch the leg muscle, you need to bend and relax your leg muscle because the gravity of the, the gravity power happened and put in your body and stretch like this. Stretch your leg muscle. But if you stretch the leg muscle, if you stretch like this, your uh, calf muscle and thigh muscle tighten. If you if you stretch the bend, uh, if you stretch if you stretch the, uh, if you stretch the leg, leg joint, stretch like this, uh, tighten, tighten the calf, and tighten the thigh muscle, and stretch the arm muscle. But let's check again. So this muscle tightened, not stretched. As a result, this sentence, this, uh, this move, this situation is incorrect. Uh, this situation is different from the. Uh, explanation as a leader of the Kyoto, uh, Kyoto uh, uh, as a leader of Uno san, as a, as a Uno san explanation, the leader explanation of the Kyoto uh, institution. So, the correct way is stretch the muscle, uh, relaxing the muscle, and receive the gravity power and stretch the muscle. This is the correct thought. This is the correct description. Uh, this this is correct understanding. So let's check. Uh, let's check uh, how to think. Let's check uh, how to uh, how to use the body uh, in detail. Uh, so so correct means relaxing the arm. As a result, you can stretch the knee muscle and relaxing the shoulder. This is correct explanation, correct the description, uh, correct, correct understanding. Let's uh, another. Let's uh, let's remember and try. Ayatou gozaimashita.